how much money do you have burning a hole in your pocket? Well, considering fuel prices, probably not too much. But maybe you still have enough to buy a Steam Deck. And if you're in a country like Australia and many other regions out there, Valve will not let you give the money. All I want is to give you money, let me give you money. And there have been rumours for quite a while now that we're going to be partnering up with EB Games in Australia, basically GameStop in the US, to distribute the Steam Deck here, but nothing really happened with that. Now, you can very easily, you know, circumvent this and then get the package sent to you with a parcel redirection service. There are plenty of guides on how to do this online. But what if that sounded like way too much effort and you wanted to buy directly from a local seller. And I can't speak for every single region that doesn't have official Steam Deck sales, but here in Australia, there is a lot of third-party sellers, or more accurately, third-party scalpers. Now, you'd expect this stuff to be on places like eBay, and we'll get to eBay, but these sellers also exist on other websites as well. This is a listing on Kogan. You can buy the 512, the 256, and it's not letting me swap back now. I don't know why their website is designed like this, but you can buy the 512. Over on Catch, they also have a listing. This is the 512 for $1,344. There is also a listing over on TOS Smith, the 512 gig model is now sold out, but the 256 gig is still in stock. And obviously, there is a listing on Amazon. This is a great deal at $1,140. Now, this wasn't the case when I planned this video, but this Amazon listing at 21% off isn't actually entirely unreasonable. This is only $150 more than it would be buying directly in the US. And when you account for shipping, taxes, parcel redirection, you know, it's not that much more expensive than doing it yourself. When we're looking at listings like this and some of the eBay listings, this is where we get a little bit more ridiculous. For the record, the Australian dollar isn't that bad. That's 1200 USD just to buy a Steam Deck. You can buy two Steam Decks for that price at the US pricing. And to make matters worse, some of these end up being auctions and all hell can break loose when something like that happens. If you're going to buy from a third party seller, do research, work out currency exchange, work out if there's even anybody pricing it at a reasonable price, or if everybody in your region is just a scalper. Because in Australia, you may legitimately find a reasonable deal, but that might not be the case in every country out there. But with that being said, I am not endorsing buying from any of these sellers. They may be completely legitimate, they may actually have a Steam Deck that they are willing to sell you, but I do not like this practice of buying a device solely for the purpose of selling it. Some of these people in here are basically selling it, you know, a little bit more than what they got it for. Other people are very clearly trying to scalp a device that they know that people cannot get their hands on in this region. That is a terrible practice, and you should not encourage it. It doesn't matter, and you should not buy from those people. It doesn't matter if you really want a Steam Deck. There are other means to get them. Don't spend that much money. However, if for whatever reason, you do feel like buying one of these devices do be careful where you buy it from. So platforms like eBay offer really strong customer protection. I've had a lot of things refunded. eBay is generally pretty good about this. But other platforms, especially, you know, less well-known, less reputable platforms, 
might be a little bit weak with this, and if there is going to be a nefarious seller, you don't want to be on one of those platforms where you can't get your money back. So remember how I showed you that $1,800 listing? Here's one for $2,100. So it does definitely get a lot, lot worse. Now, these listings, even though they are a little bit ridiculous in their pricing, do seem a little bit more legit than what Liam Dore covered over on his video on gaming on Linux. This was a website pretending to be an official Steam Deck website and selling you Steam Deck reservations made from their Steam account. Now, this is very, very against the Steam TOS. It's likely their account is going to get banned. It probably did get banned. And any money you gave them probably is going to vanish into the ether. Just as a general rule, if a service is selling you Steam Deck reservations, it is very, very sus unless it is Komodo in Asian regions doing Japan, Taiwan, Hong Kong, and South Korea, or from Valve directly. These are the only people that are authorized to sell you a Steam Deck reservation, or better yet, to sell you a Steam Deck directly. Whenever you're dealing with third-party sellers, there's always the risk of shenanigans going on. I have a gaming PC. I'm personally totally fine to wait for the Steam Deck to come to my region. At the pace it's going at, it's probably going to be when a Steam Deck 2 comes out, but we'll see what happens with the future to come. But if I desperately wanted one today, I wouldn't be going down the route of a third-party seller. I would go down the route of doing a parcel forwarding, but I'm not going to recommend any specific services. Keep in mind, though, that doing that is still going to be more expensive than being able to buy it directly from Valve. But at least you're not funding scalpers. There is still some risk in that case as well. If the parcel gets lost in transit, it gets lost in the warehouse. But if you're using a reputable service, most of them offer some sort of insurance program that will get you at least your money back, if nothing else. Better yet, just chill and buy it later. So let me know in the comment section down below, do you have a Steam Deck? Are you in one of the regions where you can actually buy one? Are you getting it parcel forwarded? Did you have someone like buy it for you and then send it to you? Or are you just waiting to buy one some point in the future? I would love to know. So if you like this video, remember to go and like the video. And if you really like the video and you want to become one of these amazing people over here, go check out my Patreon, Scribe, Stanley Barrow Pay, linked in the description down below. I've got a podcast called Tech Over Tea. I've got a gaming channel called Brody on Games. That's going to be it for me. And I'm out.